where were you? The Bulldogs won 37 to 31 over Grambling State. That's two in a row in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Find out how they did next on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Services. Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by Protective Life, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, and University Kia. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama a &M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. It's always a good day on the hill when the Bulldogs win. 37-31, double overtime coach. We got some extra football today. Yeah, we did, man. We got an overtime game. Very exciting game. A great game. Uh, great football game either way, but even better for us because we came out with the W. And at the end of the day, we made one more play than they did, and they would come out victorious. It was a great crowd. The crowd was in it. Uh, the band did a great job. The Chili's did a great job. Uh, all the alumni that was there supported the guys. And when we needed them to get up, they did. Uh, I could hear them back there making a lot of noise. And uh, you know, it was a great, a great feeling, a great uh, experience to uh, experience all those fans behind us. You're up, coach. Give up a big play at the end of the first half puts them back in the ball game. Same thing happens at the end of the second half. You get two big penalties on the drive, gets them into the end zone. What about that can you fix for next week? Well, you know, before the half, first of all, we turned the ball over and gave them the ball on like the 15-yard line, and the defense went out and did a great job and held them to a field goal. So it was great by the defense. Uh, terrible on the first play of the game, we fumbled <laughs> and gave them a short field like that. But the defense stepped it up and kept them with three, kept us in it. And uh, then right before the half, um, it was 35 seconds. You know, we we probably, we in zone defense where we're gonna keep everything in front of us. The clock is our friend, mm -hmm. and we get somebody to go for out bite on the out and up, and the guy gets behind us, catches a 63 yard touch, a 63 yard pass, get them down to like the four yard line, and of course they execute and get it in for a touchdown and take the lead at halftime, 10 to seven. And so uh, I'm looking at it as we gave them all 10 points. Mm -hmm. Offense gave them a short field at the 15 yard line. They got a field goal. And then we bust a coverage and give them a long pass right before half. They had 95 yards at halftime. 63 of the passing yards came on that, that one play. And they had six yards rushing on 12 10 at halftime. So the defense was dominating, doing a great job. And for us to be down at halftime, it was like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So we just said we got to go back in and uh, continue doing what we was doing the first half. They only had six yards rushing. They had 35 yards passing before we we bust the coverage. Mm -hmm. And so we were dominating. So we said, defense, you go out and play later in the second half. We're going to go down and score, and we're going to win a football game. And the offense came out and uh, executed at a high level in the second half. I think we scored 30 points in the second half and uh, won the game 37 to uh, 31. Coach, recruiting plays off. You had some great student athletes make a lot of plays. Tell us about Avion Rice. Avion Rice is a, a three-star freshman that we signed. And we knew we was getting a steal when we got him. Mm. Uh, he was a three-star player, man. And, uh, and we was able to sign him, and he wanted to come here. We told him, you know, we're going to play the best man. And uh, he's been starting since day one, man. He's a ball player, and I'm just glad he's on my team. Uh, he did make a penalty, get a 15-yard penalty on late hit uh, there on that last drive. But he's so aggressive, you know. And uh, I told him, I don't, don't want to take the aggressive away, but – we got to play during the whistles. They're playing in between the whistles, not after the play. Mm. Uh, he's going to be a great player for us, and he's going to be all conference player. You got another receiver, Coach Cox, and then you got Hamry, whose dad is in the A&M record books. How'd you get them to, to finally turn the corner? And now we get to talk about them every show. Well, they just doing their job, man. You know, we lost uh, four good receivers last year, mm. and we had to replace those guys. And now Abdul is down this year, um, and so. Those guys had to step it up, and we got Cox, and uh, he had 600 yards receiving last year at the school he was at. So we knew he was a big-time player. We just got to give him the ball. We just get him ball in space. You can see he's dangerous. He's going to make the first man miss, mm. and uh, there's a good chance he's going to take it to the house. Uh, and then Hammer's a big receiver uh, that can catch fades, can run, and he can actually make people miss too. So um, we're blessed to have those two guys, and uh, they're continuing to make plays, and as long as they do, we always have a chance to win. You get McNeil to play well today, and you get Douglas, who's shown up during the season. Coach, good job on the defense side of the ball. It was. Uh, defense played great. Douglas played uh, good again, and McNeil played good again. He's been battling a little bit of a uh, knee, and so for him to step up and play well, the corners played good. We gave up some underneath stuff besides the one long pass. Uh, 
you know, the front seven played excellent. They put pressure on the quarterback all day, uh, causing havoc and getting sacks. Uh, the quarterback did get out of the pocket and run a couple of times, but that's just because the guys was playing so hard trying to get to the quarterback that mm. they didn't stay in their lanes a couple of times. Mm. So, uh, but overall, defense played great. Uh, gave up a few more points than we wanted to and in situations that we didn't want to, right? That fourth quarter drive, we need to stop right there. We had two personal fouls, personal foul to start the drive, mm -hmm. then a personal foul at the end of the drive, mm -hmm. and uh, we can't do that. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot right there. We got to get that cleaned up, and if we do, we'll be fine. My apologies. I said last week the Bulldogs had never beaten Grambling here at home. This is the fourth time the Bulldogs have defeated Grambling at Lewis Cruz Stadium. We'll see how the first half panned out. We come back on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach, Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Bulldog fans, the Alabama A&M Athletics Department is calling on you to help our student athletes. The Bulldog Strong Fund focuses on our student athletes by encouraging competition during this global pandemic Competitive excellence takes on a new definition for our Bulldogs. This fund enhances our efforts to ensure our athletic department can service each team to become a prominent national competitor in all aspects of NCAA Division I athletics. Donation to the Bulldog Strong Fund will be used to cover student athletic scholarships, supporting recruiting efforts, and creating additional health and wellness initiatives. We are under tough and challenging times, but with your support, the Bulldog Strong Fund will thrive. Donations of all sizes make a huge difference and are greatly appreciated. Visit amusports.com to learn more about the Bulldog Strong Fund and how you can donate now. Thank you in advance for your continued support of Alabama a and Athletics and our student athletes. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. 
Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Bulldogs just got their fourth victory over Grambling State here in Lewis Cruz Stadium. Coach, is getting to be old hat, but you never take any of your opponents for granted. No, you can't. You got to respect the all fear none. Uh, they put their pants on just like they do. Uh, they got scholarship players just like we do. And uh, so you respect them. And uh, you get ready to play every week. And uh, if they up to the challenge, it's going to be a great game just like today. Mm. Uh, they not, then it could get out of hand. And if we not, it could get out of hand. So mm. you, just, you just respect them all, and you play every game like it's your last and like it's the championship game because – the next game is the biggest game. Now, Coach, you're winning two in a row. You always say that the more you win, the more important those games become, Coach. You got a big one coming up in a second. Your we do. Game. Yeah, the next game is the biggest game, man. We're right where we want to be now. We're two on one. Uh, we're back in the race. Um, and so we need to get a win next week and get to three and one and just keep winning one game at a time and get to seven and one by the end of the season and let's see where the chips fall. <laughs> That's right, Coach. Now, Coming into the ball game, even though Grambling had only won one game on the season, you knew Coach Jackson was waiting for an opportunity for his team to overcome their adversity and get a victory. Yeah, I talked about it. You know, number one is Hugh Jackson. So, you know, you got a great football coach mm. and he got a great staff. And so, they know the guys are going to be prepared. They understand football. They're going to teach their guys. Mm. Um, you know, the ball just haven't been bouncing their way. Uh, they haven't quite got the offense the way they wanted to, even though they did a good job today. They put 31 points on us. Um, and I was hoping they would find their groove after us, but they kind of <laughs> right. found it today and got 31 right. points. But, you know, they played Jackson. It was 21-17 uh, to 17 late in the third quarter, you know, at Jackson. So we knew they had a good football team mm -hmm. and they could play. And we knew we had to execute and play at a high level if we want to win this football game. And uh, at the end of the day, that's what we wound up doing. We made one more play than they did, and we, was able to, we came away victorious. Coach Bull, where your defensive coordinator's team did a good job of making them change their game plan in the middle of the game. Grambling played three quarterbacks today. Yeah, they did. They did. And like I said, halftime, they had 12 rushes for six yards. And so they couldn't run the ball. So then they had to try to throw the ball. And then they start running the quarterback some uh, out of those passing situations. And that's how they got a lot of their first downs. The quarterback just pulled it down and ran the ball. I mean, I think we hit them one time, third and 13. And he ran the ball and got 14 right. yards. Right. And so we can't let that happen. We missed two tackles on that. And uh, so we got to get the little stuff like that cleaned up. But, yeah, Coach did a great job, and the, and the, and the defense did a great job of adjusting and uh, forcing them to do what they didn't want to do because they want to run the ball. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Coach. And, of course, when you get out of this game, you're getting into overtime. Everyone's nervous. I'm getting text messages. People think we're about to let one get away. But how are you thinking going in overtime? Well, I mean, going to overtime, we had a seven-point lead. They got the ball back with four minutes. So if we get a stop, we win the game. Uh, we just run out the clock after that. And uh, they started, we started off the drive with incomplete pass, but we late hit the quarterback. And the most important thing on, in a hurry-hurry situation or the, a last drive is the first play. Mm. If you're normally successful on the first play, you're normally going to be successful on that drive. And so we had a stop, an incomplete pass, but then we hit the quarterback late, gave him 15 yards. Uh, and then we got another late hit uh, out of bounds and gave him 15 more yards and, and put him in pretty good field position there inside the 10-yard line. And then they was able to capitalize and score a touchdown and uh, send the game to overtime. So we was uh, – I mean, we knew that we still had a great chance to win the football game. We, we had to stop them and get a score. Uh, and – we just say, you know what? It's still 0-0, zero, zero, so you got to keep playing. Ernestine, Evelyn, and Eulestine, coach, text me during the ball game. They want to know why you went for two. Okay. The re <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple, okay? It's the reason I'm the head coach and y'all not, okay? And that reason is in overtime, the first overtime, you can kick it or you can go for two, okay? The second overtime, you cannot kick anymore. You have to go for two. Okay, so that's why I went for two, everybody. Okay, you have to kick. You cannot, I mean, you have to go for it. You cannot kick. And if it would have went to a third overtime, they would have put the ball on the three-yard line and we run plays from there. Okay, that's how it goes, all right? So don't be up there criticizing when you don't know what you're talking about. We'll take that, Coach. Again, the Bulldogs win 31-37. to 37. 
Coach, you're putting a lot of freshman student athletes on the field, a lot of transfers on the field. How are you able to get everyone on the same page? I mean, it's just practice, man. It's practice. It's uh, schemes. It's, we practice every day. That's what we practice for. Uh, so everybody be on the same page. You're doing the little things because we need all 11. Every play, we need all 11. We're offense, defense, or special teams. We need all 11 to do their job. And that's all we ask. Just do your job for four to five seconds, and we'll be fine. When we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review, we're going to tell you what happens next week when the Bulldogs travel to St. Louis, Missouri. That game is on a Sunday, not a Saturday. That game is on a Sunday, so you'll get a chance to see all of the Bulldog football. When we come back talking with head coach, Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book Fair Market Value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Bulldog fans, the Alabama A&M Athletics Department is calling on you to help our student athletes. The Bulldog Strong Fund focuses on our student athletes by encouraging competition during this global pandemic Competitive excellence takes on a new definition for our Bulldogs. This fund enhances our efforts to ensure our athletic department can service each team to become a prominent national competitor in all aspects of NCAA Division I athletics. Donation to the Bulldog Strong Fund will be used to cover student athletic scholarships, supporting recruiting efforts, and creating additional health and wellness initiatives. We are under tough and challenging times, but with your support, the Bulldog Strong Fund will thrive. Donations of all sizes make a huge difference and are greatly appreciated. Visit amusports.com to learn more about the Bulldog Strong Fund and how you can donate now. Thank you in advance for your continued support of Alabama A&M Athletics and our student athletes. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Hello, I'm Fester Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University, start here, 
go anywhere. Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm happy to be standing next to him. My name is Ted Dixie. Coach, you only had one turnover today. That's a vast improvement from the beginning of the season. It was a fumble, no interceptions from your quarterbacks, and you played two today, and the outcome was what you wanted, a W. Yeah, of course. You know, that's what we talked about all week offensively, taking care of the football, don't turn it over, fumbles, interception, giving the defense a short field, giving their offense a short field. And where, you know, they normally take advantage of that opportunity, uh, but our defense bowed their necks and uh, held them to a field goal attempt, and then they made the field goal. Because that's a win for us. You get the ball first and that's right. go. Right. On the nine-yard line, and you got to kick a field goal. So I was very pleased with the way the defense played and held up there and, and just held them to a field goal. And, uh, and they stayed that way until 30 seconds before the half. And we're in the prevent defense, and we give up a long pass. So, yeah, we just got to, you know, when our defense play the defense called and do their job, mm -hmm. they, they're pretty good. But when they start doing stuff their way and, mm. and being selfish, then bad things happen. And so uh, the quarterback situation, we played two quarterbacks. Uh, actually, Xavier actually hurt his thumb, uh, pink, his finger, uh, and it went numb on him. Mm. And so we put Quincy in, and and we talked about um, Teddy Bridgewater. Brad, Teddy Bridgewater. Mm -hmm. You know, he he played a game. He had to come in as the backup quarterback one day when the quarterback got hurt in the first quarter, and he wasn't prepared to play. Mm -hmm. And he said that'll never happen to him again. So ever since then, when he's the backup, he prepares like he's the starter, to play in the game like if he was the starter. Mm -hmm. And so he'll never be unprepared again. That's right. So I told my team about that Teddy Bridgewater story that you have to be prepared. You have to be ready for the situation. And so um, Quincy prepared this week like he was going to be the starter. And I told all these guys, it's a long season. We're going to mm -hmm. need everybody. Mm -hmm. And you're one play away. If you're the backup, you're one play away. It could be a concussion. It could be anything. It could be an ankle. Uh, anything can happen. Shoelace. Right, anything. You won't play away from being the man, so you have to be prepared mentally and physically. And Quincy was. He came in, and uh, he led us to a victory. You get a lot of confidence in a game like this, Coach, and win two in a row. How are you going to take that to St. Louis when you play Arkansas Pine Bluff next week? Continue doing what we was doing. That's the key. You have to continue to do what you was doing. We can't live off this week and last week win. We got to go do it again next week. We got to prepare. We got to watch the tape, see what their weaknesses are, their, deep, their uh, strengths are, play the hours away from theirs, and execute one play at a time for one quarter, for one half, for one game. And if we continue to do that, we're going to have a chance to win every football game that we play. Even though season tickets, you get two games are already gone, you can still purchase season tickets because that money does go to the Department of Athletics and it helps fund everything that we do. There's a lot of volleyball tomorrow, Coach. I know you and your student athletes are going to support that as well. Oh, yeah. Well, we got to, we got to get ready. We got to watch this tape do what we do. Then after that, we'll probably let the guys go watch some volleyball and support those guys because we don't play the next Sunday. So we're probably going to give them uh, uh, Monday and Tuesday off. Mm. And uh, then we'll come back and go from there. So uh, we get a little bit of a break. But playing that Sunday, and then after that Sunday game, we got an open week. So we got a little time. I'll let them heal up, give them a couple of days off, and then uh, get back and uh, get ready to go. Coach, give your student, excuse me, Coach, give the fans something to hear because we've heard a lot of rumors about your roster changing, student athletes deciding that they want to do something different. How are you taking all of that in with still getting a team ready to play ball? Next man up, man. Nobody's bigger than the team. You know, I'm not big in the team. I'm not big in the program. If I do something crazy, uh, they're going to fire me. They're going to hire another coach. And a and going to still play football. Mm -hmm. And that's the message I give my players, okay? You're not bigger than the team, okay? If you do something, get kicked off, that's on you. Or if you quit, that's on you. We're going to put the next man in, and we're going to keep playing, okay? We don't need no one player. Uh, nobody's bigger than the team. And so, uh, yeah, we got a couple guys that's not with the team anymore. But guess what? We 2-0 since then. That will do it for this week's edition of the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Thank you all for watching. Just remember, service is sovereignty. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement. But the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others.
Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University, start here, go anywhere. Bulldog fans, the Alabama A&M Athletics Department is calling on you to help our student athletes. The Bulldog Strong Fund focuses on our student athletes by encouraging competition. During this global pandemic, competitive excellence takes on a new definition for our Bulldogs. This fund enhances our efforts to ensure our athletic department can service each team to become a prominent national competitor in all aspects of NCAA Division I athletics. Donation to the Bulldog Strong Fund will be used to cover student athletic scholarships, supporting recruiting efforts, and creating additional health and wellness initiatives. We are under tough and challenging times, but with your support, the Bulldog Strong Fund will thrive. Donations of all sizes make a huge difference and are greatly appreciated. Visit amusports.com to learn more about the Bulldog Strong Fund and how you can donate now. Thank you in advance for your continued support of Alabama A&M Athletics and our student athletes. Go Bulldogs! Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. Their student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Bulldog fans, thank you for joining us today for the Alabama A&M University Football Review. Bulldog faithful, we encourage your support and participation. Until next time, go Bulldogs!